me of is, uh, you know, in music, it's like about the notes that you don't play. It's about the silences in between uh, the notes. So, anyways, I'm gonna start with this. Oh, goddamn, this is gonna be quite... So, uh, really quick, I guess I can explain. Uh, this is a sad Just so, like, where do I even begin? I can at least. 
least begin with side pieces and corner pieces. I can't believe I'm doing this so last minute. We shoot tomorrow night, but we're getting together at noon, and perhaps it could be an activity for the rest of the crew to hop in on. Be a nice little Ritual. Um, so something I noticed both both times that I've been editing a video, my new videos, these ASMR videos. Uh, <laughs> there is a way that I speak. <laughs> I'm even now. Um, I feel like I may have, did I mention this last time? Anyways, I told my friends, so maybe that's what I'm thinking, but, uh, there's a way I speak that, you know, I'm, I'm doing it right now, <laughs> that reminds me of the way Christian Bale speaks in the movie of Vice. So, when I'm watching these back, and even when I'm doing this right now, I remind myself of Christian Bale playing Dick Cheney. Vice. It's a movie that I've seen twice now. I've seen Vice. Twice. Vice. Twice. Twice now. I've seen Vice. Now. So, uh, yeah, I think I speak like this when I'm doing whisper videos because there's a part of me that wants to be emphatic enough so you can understand what I'm saying. Um, I think that in casual circumstances, I can still speak very emphatically. Sometimes when I'm very, sometimes when I'm very hyper, I can actually underemphasize my words. And I've watched behind-the-scenes footage of me, you know, to, you know, when I'm working on stuff and I'm speaking either to the camera or to my friends, and and I kind of brush past some words. like a lot of the time I do speak emphatically. It is just so exaggerated and <laughs> I just hear, I just hear Christian Bale doing Dick Cheney. Uh, but it's just, <laughs> it's so exaggerated. And since I'm whispering, there is this breathy quality that, uh, you know, sounds like the unhealthy, uh, overweight man that Dick Cheney was. That alone cannot be it, but it is one piece of this right? It's a really good movie. I have 
very um, minor. Jesus Christ, you know, okay, I gotta stop, like, catching myself and, and expressing that I've got myself. I have very minor um, beef with the film. Uh, if you haven't seen it, there is, uh, there are a few moments in which is to uh, cut to these um, an analogies or metaphors, uh, you know, sort of to cut to this footage of something happening while they're talking about something in the voiceover, and the footage is supposed to be, you know, symbolic, and it's very, um, It's, um, it's all very on the nose. Now, I actually really enjoy one case of it. And the one case that I really like of it, it's extremely on the nose. Um, and it's very, uh, it's very brief. Uh, and I, I enjoyed that. It's sort of crass. Uh, and so, I think uh, the film has such a great tone, it has such a great uh, balance between the profound and the profane, which is uh, something I'm very fond of in art. that really well at one point. Um, but then the other examples of it using these sort of visual metaphors, uh, I feel like it was a... Uh, it just wasn't... Uh, for me, it wasn't sort of direct enough. I don't want to say they were subtle metaphors. Um, but they were a little... Uh, I think it was merely that they were kind of dry sort of visceral, entertaining, sort of just, you know, they didn't get a guttural response to me, guttural response from me. Otherwise, I fucking love that movie. Like, holy shit. And uh, I'm a big fan of The Big Short, which is another Adam McKay movie. Adam McKay is the director, and uh, I've seen The Big Short, despite its two and a half hour runtime, something like just well over a dozen, maybe approaching 20 times. What I appreciate about these last two movies that he's done is that entertaining and um, you know share uh, really interesting uh, insights and perspectives uh, but they are for the most part very entertaining in matters that are uh, sort of not unapproachable but you know the Big Short is about the financial industry. Like, come on. In real estate. I used to be a real estate agent. Um, and trust me, as somebody who did it for a living, it's one of the most boring damn things ever. Uh, but he managed to spin a very interesting... Uh, well, no, he didn't spin a tale, but... He adapted this book um, that is based off a of very interesting material. You know, an interesting uh, factual basis, an interesting part of history, of American history. Uh, yeah, but he made it entertaining, which is crazy. And then Vice, you know, it's arguably more sort of theatrical subject matter it does get into matters of war and, you know, just like the political intrigue, but even then it's 
it's um, gets really into these topics that you know might seem like dry topics, and he makes them very exciting and fun. Vice could have been done in such a serious. That's not the right word. It could have. Vice could have been done in a way by some other filmmakers. That would have been uh, just dry and straight-faced and very, like, take itself very seriously. Uh, but his approach was to find the humor in everything, the excitement in everything. Um, to deliver information that you wouldn't normally want to consume or be told or learn about. Uh, yeah, okay, enough of my... Uh, that concludes my vice review. Um, you know, as somebody who... So, my day job year. It's been slowing down. Apparently, work's gonna kick up soon. We'll see about that. But my day job is that I am a video journalist. And, uh, I work for Good Media and Upworthy. Upworthy is owned by Good Media. Um, and so, I do sort of, uh, Of elimination. Who'd 
doesn't love a good certainty. Nothing quite gets my blood flowing. Nothing like a good, uh, sure thing. on reality. That's not to say there weren't any like 
biopics or historical pictures or, you know, just movies based off of things that happened in reality that I didn't enjoy before. But I think the difference that I'm trying to make here is not merely that the source material was based on true events, but... Just a second.
Devo fans, <laughs> is there a preference on uh, sort of the stereo extremes or the, you know, left and right or center? I guess nothing quite uh, beats a variety, you know. some pieces that, well, does this fit? No, that doesn't fit. Does it fit like? It sure does. Okay, wait, does it? This like, fuck, this like, no, this doesn't fit. Okay. Let's just get all the white strips. I 
is that those moments I really enjoy when I could just hear the rhythm of a, someone's breath. so glad uh, that I remembered to do this. I suppose uh, it would be going faster if we had a team behind it, which wouldn't make this nearly as long as it's taking me alone. Okay. Holy shit. I'm getting like, this is putting me to sleep. Okay. In a way, it's like reading a
possibly be. Well, I think that's enough for tonight because I still have to uh, sync the audio and cut this up. Really early. <laughs> <laughs>